Ahoy hoy and welcome to the video. I'm Dr. Sumerian, not a real doctor, and today we are going to talk about the SCP Foundation not being real, conspiracy theories, and a few other topics that are associated with it. So let's get started. So first of all, I did a video about nine months ago. It was in August of 2020 called the SCP Foundation isn't real. It's one of my more popular videos, and it's something that constantly gets new comments, uh, at least from time to time. But let's not call it constantly. Um, and I'll, there's a series of comments that I, I absolutely think, unfortunately, the grammar is bad for most of them, uh, but or for all of them. Uh, but I think it, it really illustrates the problem with the SCP Foundation is real conspiracy theory. And that's what we're going to call it, because that's what it is. Um, so the first comment is we all know the SCP Foundation, not the they, they just say we all know SCP Foundation is fake, but we like SCP stories. And this is fair. Most people just like the stories. Or they enjoy from time to time role-playing that it's real without actually believing it's being real. But then, of course, there's the next three comments. <laughs> and this is in time. So it was... <laughs> I'm looking at these in recency. So <laughs> this literally was that comment. Then, human being is the most stupid ever made in the universe imagine we alone live in a big universe and there are no one else wake up people these things might not sound real but it exists and then another comment well you can't say it's not real because you don't know either so yeah you don't know because if you didn't what's the proof and then finally it's on google maps <laughs> As if it being on Google Maps is, you know what? A random dude went in and added a marker for the SCP Foundation. Uh, so it must be real. <laughs> because all all government-wide, all intergovernmental conspiracy theories are true because they're on Google Maps. Uh, anyway, so you have the whole gamut here uh, of the, there's no one who, there's the, there's no one who could possibly believe the SCP Foundation is real, and the SCP Foundation might be real, you don't know, to the SCP Foundation is definitely real, right? So that's the full uh, the full range of it. And by the way, it's on Google Maps is in full caps, which is like telling me, like, you ridiculous idiot. Of course it's real. It's on Google Maps. How could you not believe that? We talked about this in the video that I'm reading the comments from, but I'll say it again. The existence of the SCP Wiki itself is proof that the SCP Foundation can't be real. And why is that? Well, and, and we'll get to why it doesn't prove what I think it proves, because this is a conspiracy theory in a second. But from a logical standpoint, no government-wide or intergovernmental uh, conspiracy like this with this much purported power and influence would have an a wiki dot site th that <laughs> that purports to be the actual like documentation of this conspiracy it just wouldn't be wouldn't be a thing and we'll talk about why that doesn't work the way i wish it would in a second but first, we're going to talk about why, why conspiracy theories like this take root. And we're going to use the SCP Foundation is real theory to uh, uh, illustrate this point, because it's one of those conspiracy theories that I think is believed predominantly by people who are 13 or 12 and younger. Now, I'm not saying that all people below that age, those ages, believe the SCP Foundation is real. I think there's a lot of people below those ages who are capable of differentiating between reality and and not reality. Um, but there is a strong social aspect to the belief in these sorts of things. It's being part of a community. The SCP Foundation in its structure imparts that kind of community feel. Even if you don't contact or talk to another living soul about it, the idea that you stumbled upon this wide ranging conspiracy with hundreds or thousands of people involved, and now you're part of it, gives it a strong social lure aspect. And it's the reason why I believe that uh, children especially are vulnerable, not just from the sense that 
they believe it because they don't have the critical thinking skills yet to actually disbelieve it, but necessarily because it also is very attractive from a social standpoint. Now, the real problem becomes uh, beyond the social aspect, it is important to disprove them, not because you're going to prove anyone who believes it wrong, because you can't. The conspiracy theory is non-falsifiable, much like the Karl Marx's theories of history or Sigmund Freud's theories on psychology. Uh, they're non-falsifiable theories. Uh, they could be used to describe a wide range of behaviors and uh, actions and still fulfill the original concept and the original premise, I should say. Uh, but it's important to disprove them because and we're going to use a single example. OK, it is also, as far as I know, the most serious example, but uh, it is very salient to my point here because the costs of not the costs of allowing people to believe these things can be catastrophic. Uh, the Slender Man stabbing in Waukesha, Wisconsin, a 12, two 12 year olds uh, stabbed uh, one of their friends and then left her in the woods to die because they believe they could become like associated with the slender man that way. Um, th and this is the problem of any sort of exploitation of the, of the difficulties in disbelief that children may have is that, and first of all, you also kind of want to teach children critical thinking skills. I have a nephew uh, who got really, really frustrated with me yesterday when I was having a conversation about how the paranormal isn't real. And I was talking to them, to him specifically about the falsifiability of claims. And he was like, well, if you, I was like, he's like, ghosts are real. And I was like, ghosts are not real. And he's like, well, how do you know? And I'm like, I don't. But the theory that ghosts are real is non-falsifiable. If I can't prove that they don't exist... That means I probably have a problem with my original formulation. Um, and you might be like, what, what do you mean? Isn't that isn't that a good thing? You can't if you can't be proven wrong, you must be right. No, 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 no. You're just saying things that are not that's, that's neither here nor there. <laughs> uh, we don't need to get into the idea of falsifiability too much here. But I do want to make the point that. You're never going to get people who strongly believe these things on your own. You're, there's no argument you can make to convince them. And everything's going to circle back on itself. The important part is, is grabbing people before they develop these beliefs or before they become deeply held. If you can get to them before those points, then you can prevent this sort of circular thinking that is very unhealthy. And uh, uh, let's say intellectually uh, troubling and that's not to say that this is the problem. Some conspiracy theories are true. The Tuskegee syphilis experiment, the uh, CIA's usage of LSD on uh, on uh, what's what's the word I'm looking for here on uh, on civilians, uh, the uh, NSA, or I think it was the FBI actually, the FBI's uh, conspiracy to cover up their uh, systemic errors with forensics testing the uh, uh, oh, observation of almost all online communications by the u.s government that was uh, exposed by edward snowden uh, watergate um, and so on and so on but the difference is, is that those conspiracies were exposed and provable the actual things, it's complicated. So while those are provable, one could also say before they were proven that they were just uh, craziness. Like you can't, like if the government chooses to continue to cover up this thing, no one will ever be able to find it, right? And so it's important to differentiate. And in fact, it's important to differentiate on particular topics. So um, conspiracy theories that are essentially non-falsifiable or 9-11 uh, truthers, uh, birthers, um, 
because you know Barack Obama's birth certificate. We want to see his birth certificate. We see you. Here's his birth certificate. Well, that's not a real birth certificate. Uh, you made that up to try and uh, try and trick us. So, like, we're, we're, how do you get past your belief at that point? Um, and so on and so forth. You could talk about uh, the moon landing was faked. Well, the moon landing wasn't faked. Here's all this proof. Oh, that was just stuff made up by people to, you know, throw us off the scent. Then how do I prove or disprove the theory? Uh, JFK was uh, uh, shot by, you know, a conspiracy of the mafia or Russians or <clears throat> or the CIA. Well, here's proof that it was, you know, Lee Harvey Oswald that did it. Oh, well, but they they made him a patsy. They're, they're, just, sh they're just doing that to try and throw you off the scent. <clears throat> and so on and so forth. It's always they're doing this thing to throw you off the scent, right? Uh, <laughs> flat earthers. Uh, the, the Here's a globe. <laughs> here's a picture of the earth from far away. It's a circ. It's a globe. <laughs> it's a circle. It's a globe. So you know that it's not flat. OK, but do you really believe that, you know, and do you really believe that NASA doesn't have a vested interest in, in, in this? And I'm like, why would NASA? Anyway, <laughs> I've almost got I was almost like that, that's so ridiculous. But that's not the point of today's video. The point of today's video is to talk about how conspiracy theories can become. in this one in particular, uh, circular in logic. So. Reflect on those for just a moment and compare it to the SCP wiki. We talked at the very beginning, not the very beginning, but close to the beginning of the video about how the SCP wiki, its actual existence is proof that the SCP foundation can't be real because no wide ranging conspiracy like that would use a wiki dot wiki uh, to store information. And so people who are strongly attached to the idea that the SCP wiki, I'm sorry, the SCP foundation is real, will then say, okay, yeah, but the wiki, the fact that it's illogical, that it makes no sense, that no one would ever do that, is something that they, and this is again a nebulous they, but something that they know, the people who are trying to cover this up, and they know that I know that they know. So... <laughs> They have created the SCP wiki as a red herring to prove that it doesn't exist. And I'm the only one who's figured it out. But and I'm going to use a story from somebody I, I uh, used to work with uh, who used to uh, periodically out of nowhere tell me uh, that he believed that the story of Genesis was untrue, that Adam and Eve are not we're not the first uh, man and woman and in fact there was adam and uh lilith and there's a whole book of lilith thing and there's some you know there's some christian folklore or i should say uh abrahamaic myth and folklore to back this up there's even like a book of lilith i don't know where what its providence is but there's there's stuff there are things that exist and so i was like okay okay and he kept telling me about this and then I, I, when he finished i was like all right, but if you don't believe in Genesis, then why do you believe that Adam and Eve existed at all? And he just stopped and he looked at me and he said, I don't know, and then went back to work. Let's talk about the SCP Foundation's exact problem. And it was a few, it was one of those few times like you're never going to convince. I am sure. And like it happened again. So like he had his moment of realization, realized that what he was saying made no sense at all. And then went back to work. And then like, I don't know how many months later it happened again. And he completely forgot that we'd had previously had a conversation. So I had I thought I'd achieved something, but I had achieved nothing. But but that's not the important part here. We can use this exact concept on the SCP Foundation is real conspiracy theory. Because the only evidence you have, the only evidence you have that the SCP Foundation even exists at all, sources from the SCP Wiki. And it's pre and it's I should say and its predecessors. Okay? The stuff that led to the SCP Wiki. Those things are the reason why you think the SCP Foundation exists. 
if they're a red herring, they're made up to try and make you believe whatever it is they're trying to make you believe, then why do you believe any of it? Why is it that you are, you're like, the SCP Foundation, okay, so this red herring is here. I believe that it that the, the organization that purports to exist exists, and they've planted this here to fool me into thinking they don't exist. Your logic has now become circular. Is it a red herring? And it's used to try and convince you that it's not real, or is it real? You only have one source of information. Do you believe that information, or don't you? If you do, the illogical nature of the SCP wiki becomes apparent. There's no way that would be real. And if you don't, why do you believe anything in that is real? Like, you could believe there's some nebulous government conspiracy in the SCP Foundation. This is a viable version of this, that an SCP, the SCP Foundation is not real. But there is some sort of organization out there that is using the SCP Foundation as a possible, like, red herring if they ever get caught. And be like, oh, no, it's just that thing over there. That's cool. But you can't believe the SCP Foundation, as described on the wiki, is real. Anyway, that's it. This is a topic that I really wanted to go into <clears throat> in more detail, but I feel as though it's going to get overly complicated and way off topic. Conspiracy theories are an interest of mine, and uh, I am very, very much would love to do like these. And it's funny because, the, as again, there are conspiracy theories now surrounding the SCP Foundation. Fortunately, most of those conspiracy theories are believed by people who are below the age of 13 and 12, so... Not a huge deal, but it is something to cover and, and talk about. And it's not just people below the ages of 13 and 12, because everyone is susceptible to this kind of thinking, especially the social aspects of it, of believing that you're part of something. But that's it. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. And then head on over to patreon.com forward slash D Sumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including Dr. J Redacted and Sinjariki, who have both pledged at $100. It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here, and I will see you all again on Tuesday.